And uh, joining us, one of our favorite people, and uh, she's got a lifetime pass to appear on our program. Not many people can say that, but we love Jody Vance. And uh, Jody is the brand new anchor of Leafs TV. Jody, how you doing? I couldn't be better, especially with that lifetime pass. How could I be anything but fabulous? Well, I mean, tell me about how this happened. <laughs> you know what, Chuck? It happened so fast. It's such a whirlwind. Um, Dean Bender and Frank Hayward and, and Leanna and the gang that you know so well at th Team 307 down there at Leafs and Raptors TV, uh, they called me up and said, can you be in our offices by 2 this afternoon? And I said, sure. And they laid out the most unbelievable plan um, that I – they said, you know, you want to go away and think about it for the weekend? I said, are you kidding me? I'll tell you right now, I'm in. It's just uh, it's just phenomenal. And joining the team of, uh, you know, Brian Duff and Greg Millen and Rick Vive and, you know, just – the greatest behind the scenes group, a bunch of people that I've worked with in the past. It's just so exciting. All right, so after leaving Rogers Sportsnet, you were doing a column, right? Right. And, and so, and in fact, uh, help me out here because I get the two confused. You were doing, what was it 24? Was it the Metro? Yeah. It was 24 hours. Okay, and I'm still so, doing it. Uh, and you're still doing that. Yes. And and you're attending a lot of ball games. Your husband Bart is the assistant to uh, JP yes. in the front office, and so you were kind of just chilling and enjoying life. And all of a sudden, bam. Yeah. Yeah. Bam would be a good way to put it. <laughs> it's been a, a fantastic year off. I had the uh, the great pleasure of going down to spring training for the first time for the entire two months and uh, really get into the whole Blue Jays vibe and, and follow that season um, to this point. It's been great, and as you said, I've been to a lot of home games, um, and a couple on the road, in fact, and it's just been exceptional. Uh, the year has been just what I needed to recharge my batteries and refocus and try some new things, like, uh, as you mentioned, with the columns on Tuesdays and Thursdays in, in 24 hours, and uh, it just felt like the, the right time and and right at the right time, the right opportunity just came and fell at my feet. I, it was just, it's so amazing. I'm still kind of in shock, to be honest. Well, uh, Jody Vance is our guest right here on The Fan. Jody is just uh, hooked up with MLSC to uh, be an, an anchor and doing a lot of shows, working with Brian Duff and the gang uh, with uh, Leafs TV. Jody, you know, you've been off this treadmill for a year, and, I, and I'm just wondering, what did you learn about yourself and the media and where you're at as a professional during that uh, year off? You know, that's an excellent question, Chuck, because you really do, you learn a lot. Um, it, it is quite a treadmill, and what I did before was uh, four live regional half-hour shows a night, five days a week for the better part of six years. It was a lot of television, and, and it was a lot of a lot of varying types of sports. We covered everything at Sportsnet. They continue to cover everything at Sportsnet. And I, I felt that I got away from the things that I was really passionate about, which was being at the games and asking the questions, and, uh, and I was really in-studio, in-studio girl. And um, I really wanted to make sure that my next opportunity involved a little bit more street level, if you will, a little bit more hands-on, uh, a little bit more back to my roots of reporting and, and really tracking down the story and asking the questions and being like you are on the road. You know what it's like. You, you can't be uh, kept inside too long. And, and after re you know, recharging my batteries and whatnot, I really got into that point. And I'm not sure if the listeners are aware, but... Um, Leafs and Raptors TV are building that fantastic new studio down at the Air Canada Centre at Gate 1, and it's going to be as street level and hands-on and open to the fans as, as you could possibly be with any TV studio. So it's really the perfect opportunity. Well, I'm there so much. Actually, I've, I've asked uh, Tom and to, to build a little room so I can have a cot. <laughs> just to stay there. Just to stay there. There's where <laughs> your little room. You just stay there. Here's some bottled water and goodbye. Hey, right. hey, Jody, about hockey. Tell me about your passion for hockey. Well, it's my number one. I mean, anytime you, you know how people are asking us all the time, what's your favorite sport? Obviously, with you, it's hoops, and with me, it's hockey. Growing up in Vancouver, I uh, grew up in as a rink rat. Um, my dad was uh, the head of the PE department at the largest high school that happened to have a rink and and a, a school team, and and I just was have been a Canuck fan ever since I can remember, and it was my goal to emulate Jim Robson, Hall of Fame play-by-play -play man for the Vancouver Canucks for you know the first 30 years of that or 25 years of that franchise, and uh, it it's just been 
I, I don't feel like it's work when I'm around a hockey team. When I'm when I'm watching a team um, build and and grow and chemistry and and the ups and downs and the adversity that you you follow, it's the best reality television in the world, in my opinion. And and uh, to be a part of a franchise like the Toronto Maple Leafs is. Uh, is like my wildest dream coming true. It's the greatest sports brand in Canada and the greatest NHL brand in North America. It's it's just to be a part of something like this. I, I kind of I can't skate to save my life, Chuck, but I always wanted to be a part of hockey and this is the only way I'm getting in and I finally got in. Well, you know, it's great to hear the enthusiasm in your voice and I think people listening to our interview have picked up on that and it's great to have you back in oh. television in Toronto and I mean that sincerely. And uh, you know, you can you can always bring Bart over to the other side and watch some ball, okay? That's the idea. We'll get him to some get him to some Raptors games. Yeah, well, because we saw Doc Holliday last year when he was recruiting A.J. Burnett. The guys love the basketball. And, and there's a reason why they should love basketball. Absolutely. So, uh, but, but now, when do you start? Uh, first uh, preseason home game is September 18th. And so for people who uh, have uh, Leafs TV and want to subscribe now that Jody Vance is on Leafs TV, by all means, this is a shameless plug. You can contact your local cable operator. And, again, all the preseason games are on Leafs TV, and you'll see. Because you're going to do, what, pre, during the intermissions, post, and then some other stuff, right? Exactly. we got we got the morning show from uh, 10 to noon on Saturdays. Uh, Saturdays are a busy day. We're going to do the pregame show for 90 minutes before every home game. Um, intermissions uh, for every home game, and then on Saturday nights we will do uh, post game, and then Leafs late night. So that's a very very busy day. We'll also do Leafs Today weekly show, uh, Leafs Marquee, which is kind of an A and E in depth interview program. There's going to be just lots and lots of reason for everybody who uh, wants to know everything blue and white to go out and get themselves a little Leafs TV. Featuring Jody Vance now, a, a name that all of us can uh, recognize and affiliate ourselves with. Jody, again, congratulations, and I'm sure I'll see you down at the ACC. You bet, and I'll look forward to talking to you as the season unfolds. Okay, Jody, thank you. Jody Vance, back in television here in Toronto at 2.50 on the fan.